Minecraft Ultimate Edition. Not by a long shot. This isn't the ultimate or penultimate or antepenultimate uh, edition. Uh, I'm still on 1.501. There have been five more 1.6 releases since then, and there's supposed to be a 1.66 uh, sometime next week. And at that point, uh, hopefully enough bugs will be fixed that I'll update. Uh, in any case, what are we going to do today? We are going to start Brian's Woolly Adventures. And what are those? Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. We're going to pick back up where we left off last time. I was standing at the end of the sky rail uh, and proposing burning a forest down. So, of course, we'll start with that. All right, and let's go ahead and set this tree on fire, which will set a bit of this forest on fire and also clear out some space for the sky rail uh, to come through here. And I am going to head home for the night, but I know what I want to do in the morning, and so I will see you guys shortly. Okay, we are back here the next morning. And we are ready to start on Brian's Woolly Adventures. I can see some of the fire burning that I set last night. This looks like a convenient place to just jump off into the water. Whee! And what are Brian's Woolly Adventures? Well, I'm so glad you asked. I'll tell you. Basically, it occurs to me that one reason, perhaps, that I haven't done much building in Minecraft is that I never collect... Uh, many wool blocks and color them with different colors to have different colored building materials available. And so I was thinking, why don't I go out and just uh, spend some time exploring the world and gathering some wool that I can make in different colors, and then perhaps if I have the blocks lying around, I'll be more likely to actually build something uh, creative and interesting. So that's the idea anyway. While I go ahead and burn down a bit more of the forest over here. And, uh, yeah, so I have some adventuring inventory. I'm relatively light on inventory. I have some food, uh, and I have some lapis and some flowers. Uh, and eventually I want to pick up some cactus, because I think those are various things you can use for uh, coloring wool. And I think it's most efficient to color the sheeps. I'm going to go ahead and grab some free food while it's here. Ooh. Ah! Or, you know, set myself on fire rather than the pigs. Hello, piggy! Ooh. Ah, I did it again! I'm killing everything but the pigs. And the pigs are right by the water. They're just going to jump in and put themselves out, probably. All right. Won't worry about that right now. But anyway, here is the end of the sky rail, or the end of the cobblestone that doesn't even have a rail on it yet. And so the idea I have is I'm going to go to the south, because I haven't been exploring in this direction, so we'll get some new randomly generated world. And we're going to be on the lookout for sheep uh, and uh, collect their wool. And we'll just go off kind of like on an adventure for a couple of days. And then I'll come back, hopefully, with a bunch of wool blocks. So that is the idea. And we'll see how it turns out. All right. That's enough lighting trees on fire for now. So, oh yeah, the other thing is, if I want to color sheep... So, you can turn yellow flowers, I believe, I don't think I've ever done this, into dandelion yellow. Alright, and so I will make some yellow dye, and I believe this turns into rose red, which is another dye. And then lapis, does it just turn into a dye as well, or do I need to do... How do I make blue dye? Or do you just make blue blocks? You can't make blue dye? I'm not sure how the lapis works. Alright, I obviously don't know exactly what I'm doing, um, but yeah. We are just going to go adventuring to the south, and it looks like I've got lots of forest burning, so that makes me happy. And I think I see a wolf over there, and I actually did bring uh, some bones, because I figured on an adventure where I'm walking around on the ground in the overworld, it might be, hooray, he loves me. Uh, useful to have a wolf along for the ride, and so now I do. And so, I guess I need to go looking for sheep. And a forest is not necessarily the best place to look for them, but we'll just head to the south and see what other landscape we encounter. Wow, another big forest over here. I think I have to set a little bit of this on fire as well. Uh, where did my puppy go? Hello, little wolfie. There you are. Try not to catch yourself on fire, okay? Looks like I found some flat terrain, perhaps. Hooray! 
Okay, it'll be easier to find sheep here, simply because I can see a whole lot farther. And we have some ocean. And am I still headed south? I've lost track. Yes. I'm going to climb this hill and then wait for some world to generate around me. I'm the king of the world! And more forest over here. But some sheep spawned while I was looking around, which is great! And so, I guess the wolf will end up uh, killing them for me, won't he? Yep. And so, I'll start out with just the uh, basic colors that the sheep are giving me here, but then I'll actually try dyeing some of the sheep as well. And I see another sheep over here. Hello, sheep. Oh my goodness, the sun is going down already? All right, first day went by super fast. And fortunately, I have some wool that I can use for a house and a shelter as well. But I think I'll find somewhere to hole up for the night. And then we'll continue on these adventures in the morning. Okay, and sleep for the night. Hooray! And now back out into the wide world for more adventure. There's my puppy. Alrighty, and I believe, yes, if the sun is rising over there, east, west, north, south. Okay, so south is this way. So let's continue to the south. Because once again, this purpose, the purpose of this adventure is twofold. One, to beat on a bunch of sheeps uh, so that we can collect a bunch of wool and also color them. Oops. Ouch. And two, so that we can find some interesting landscapes. And I think in 1.6, uh, recall I'm still in 1.5, because I haven't taken the update yet, because it still has some bugs. Um, I think that ice spreads differently, uh, and more commonly in snow biomes, uh, which will be good for me, because it means I can go back and work on the ice house again, which is something that I would like to go back to. Um, and I see a little bit of sand over there, but that's just like a beach. I would like to find some cactus, so that I can harvest some cactus for some green dye as well. But, let's see. Alright, coming up on some big ocean it looks like here. Try to keep heading south. The only reason that I'm choosing to head to the south uh, is, as I have mentioned before, I like to just head in a cardinal direction. Mushrooms! Gotta grab mushrooms. I like to head in a cardinal direction uh, whenever I'm going out on kind of a uh, adventure journey so that it's easy to find my way back. I'm gonna let some uh, world generate in front of me. And yeah, to the south is somewhere that I know I haven't been uh, over in this portion of the world. And so I'll get some new randomly generated world and hopefully find some new exciting landscapes. I'm just gonna swim over to here so we can do some walking on the shore. How you doing? He's keeping up pretty well. That's good. I don't know that we're going to encounter many bad guys during these adventures, but if we do, it'll be nice to have an ally. Alright, got some more world generating in front of me. Should I go ahead and make a boat? That would be a good way to travel to find some stuff. So let's do that. Okay. And we are continuing to the south. But I'll take a look at what's going by over here. So we got a little bit of a beach over here. And over here, got another snow biome coming up. Some nice landscape. There's the fire that I set. And the unknown lies in front of us. There was a little bit of space for the dog to teleport to. And I see some flowers over here just kind of like sticking up. I think I need to let the world generate in front of me again, so one second. 
Okay, for those of you who don't know, if you hit escape to get back to the menu, uh, it's good if the game is lagging up because it will do some of its background processing, like generating new world. Uh, and might be some desert over there, but I don't see any cactuses. And we've got an ice flow over here, and so I'm going to try to go around it. Since I got the boat, and dogs cannot teleport to ice. And so, there's a chance I've already lost the dog if he's gotten too far away. Since I do actually kind of want him, I'm going to get over near shore and see if he teleports here. Sadly, no. Oh, there he is. All right, great. Our companion has returned. But I'm going to continue to the south, I believe. The sun is high in the sky. All right, and land, I guess, is good. Still haven't seen any deserts with cactuses. Uh, but land is good because if I want to find more sheeps to get some wool, then obviously I need to be on land rather than in the ocean. And it looks like I found some clay. And even though that's not the purpose of our journey, you got to get clay when you find clay. Those are the Minecraft rules. Yeep. Help. I'm trapped. Like, I'm really trapped. I can't seem to get out of this. I can't swim out of it. There we go. That's like the most difficult current I've ever had to fight against before. Pretty crazy. Um, Alright, inventory management will become a challenge at some point, but I can worry about that later. We can always make the clay back into clay bricks. And so, I'm just going to double check again. Yes, that I'm still heading to the south. And... Look for some sheep. I see cows, I see pigs. I see more flowers. But I do not see sheep. Looks like we might have some interesting lands. Aha! Sheep! Alright, and to start things off, I'm just going to collect uh, some wool without dyeing them to get a little bit more white wool. Alright, but the next batch of sheep that I have, then I'll start trying to dye the sheep different colors. And I wanted to look over here, because this kind of mountainside looks like it might be a little bit interesting. Nah, eh, okay, nothing too interesting. There's a big lake. There's some more sheep. Okay, and so let's try dyeing the sheep this time. And so, if I want a red sheep, I think I can get out my red dye and walk up to him and go, blink, and now he's a red sheep. And now, blink, and now I got three pieces of red wool, as opposed to just using the dye directly on wool pieces that you've already collected, uh, which would only yield one piece at a time. Shields, uh, sheep will give you one to three at a time. And so it's good to dye the sheep if you want to use your dye efficiently. And so... Yeah, different colored wool stacks in different colored, uh, different spots in your inventory. And so, yeah, this will definitely become uh, an inventory management issue. Hadn't really thought about that aspect before, but that's okay. Aha, more sheep. Let's get some more red wool. Only one piece that time. How sad. I hear skeletons somewhere. And here's gray wool that I'll go ahead and just take like that. And here's another red sheep. And here's another red sheep. Boom. And... Let's take a look at the landscape around us again for a moment. A lot of underground lakes. It seems like they've become more common uh, in the last one or two updates. And, yeah, very dense forest. Got to burn some more down. Here's a nice clearing. All right, and the sun is setting in the west. And so I will go ahead and hole up for the night again. But tomorrow we'll try to make uh, some more sheep different colors. But I'll go ahead and just uh, make a little hidey hole and see you guys in the morning.